right, guys, we're here at Tita's Tacos. I mispronounced it and said Tita's, but it's actually Tita's. And it's right here across the uh, Ward Village parking lot where Whole Foods is. And we're going to try some tacos. And I have a special guest today. His name is Spot. And we'll talk to him and eat with him. And he also has a YouTube channel. So um, I'm going to show a little bit of his channel. You can subscribe to him. So let's go across the street and eat some tacos. So this is Spot and we're doing a collab and uh, we're gonna eat the, t is it Tita's Tacos, right? That's Tita's what Tacos, that's yeah. it. So um, you wanna talk about your channel? Maybe some people can subscribe. Sure, uh, my name's Spot, I live here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And I just feel so lucky to be sitting here with the <laughs> goddess of uh, no, food eating. No, I am eating. not. <laughs> <laughs> I love his channel. I, I like your adventures and how you bike to Kabuku and went to Kauai and just camped in a tent. I think that's so awesome. Yeah. I Thank wish you. I could do that. You can. I don't know. I'm a woman. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I think on, you'd on be a beach right. somewhere. I think you can handle yourself just fine. I probably can. <laughs> we'll see. All right. So I'm excited about the tacos. Yeah. Let's uh, let's break them out, shall we? I did. I'm sorry. I did cut you off though. What else is your channel about? I know there's some surfing. Uh, I, do, I do. I shoot some surfing videos. I do some uh, kind of personal. I don't want to say personal finance, but how to live better, cheaper, awesome. and. Uh, yeah, just going on adventures, getting out there, enjoying life. That's that's about it. It's cool. Yeah. See, I, I he was one of the first channels I've seen on YouTube that's local, and I thought it was cool. Nice. And then um, I don't want to say what I what you do or I do, but we had this weird meeting like a couple of weeks ago Very weird. by um, coincidence, <laughs> not in a bad way, just like whoa. And I'm like, your spot yeah. <laughs> at work, and it doesn't work with me, but yeah, I saw you on the street. It's like my friend from the internet. I know, and I'm like, <laughs> that's you in person. So that's how we became uh, friends and did this collab, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been watching. Uh, I've been watching your channel for a few years at least, and I've eaten at many places you've recommended. So I appreciate all the oh, thank you all the hard work you've done. <laughs> Thanks. Since I love there. when you're like, yeah, this whole parking lot is empty, but <laughs> this lady. Um, I don't know why she just got to park right next to they me. They do, and that it's sucks. not like crowded. I understand if it's crowded. <laughs> right. I, I'm pretty mellow, but the whole the whole place, place is empty. And they, it's like a magnet. Come yeah, I have right the next to you. I have the same experience on the beach where I'll be on the beach <laughs> sitting there just minding my own business. The whole beach is empty, and then boom, somebody puts their towel down <laughs> 20 feet from me. I'm like, why don't you just go? For there. Go away. <laughs> yeah. They like your aura, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or they think I have pockets. <laughs> that, or yeah, for me, maybe I don't have a good aura, but maybe no, they smell my food. <laughs> so, this is the tacos I got. I got two tacos, tacos, sorry, lingua, which is beef tongue, and barbacoa, and a molita, which is kind of like a small quesadilla, and that has carnitas in it, which is um, pork. Okay, so we're gonna try our tacos. Sorry. All right, ladies first, so oh. you, you go ahead. I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna put my line here. So I'm gonna guess this one's the lingua, which is beef tongue, and I'm being adventurous. I've had beef tongue before. Usually I like it burnt to a crisp, and this does not look like it, so not, not we'll see. Oh, wow. How is that? That's good. So here we got a carne asada burrito. <laughs> that thing's huge. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's got guacamole and stuff in there. Fantastic. I like how there's um, authentic radishes and jalapenos and onions there, pickled onions. Mm -hmm. I like that stuff. Good. The sauce is good too. They make mm. it in-house. They said they have salsa roja, which I got and salsa verde, the green one, and a habanero one. So you're from California? Yeah, California. What, what part? Los Angeles. Um, so you had your fair share of good Mexican food. Yeah, I ate lots. I grew up <clears throat> eating Mexican food. Uh, everything from uh, what we used to call the roach goats, which is uh, like construction worker kind of Mexican food, to, um, you know, really like nice, you know, a nice restaurant. So, but I just, yeah, I grew up eating in a, I've been to Mexico quite a few times. I absolutely mm. love Mexican food. But I never had a mulita. Mm. What, is, what is that? Well, they described it as a, a mini 
quesadilla, so it's like the four inch taco, uh, I'm sorry, not the, the corn tortilla. Mm -hmm. And it's got um, whatever tacos in, whatever meat you want, and but the difference is there's cheese in it. So, looks good. Yeah, looks so, really good. The reason why I asked you, um, so you're from California, you've had some awesome Mexican food, you've been to Mexico. How mm. does this compare? Because, uh, you know, in Hawaii, the Mexican food's kind of yeah. hard to... Hard to come uh, by. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, it tastes really good. I actually spoke with the owner before okay. at, before he got there, and uh, he's got an L.A. number, which I thought was kind of funny. Nice. And um, so he said he's been there six years, and uh, yeah, it tastes really, uh, tastes really good. It tastes like something I'd buy. Uh, you know, in LA anyway. Awesome. So this is interesting. This is the barbacoa, which is like the meat that they put in the pit, right? Yeah. Or supposedly. Um, I've never seen it on a menu here in Hawaii, and I'm excited to try that. So I think I'm going to put some pickled onion in there. Oh, wow. So aside from Hawaii, have you had any experience uh, eating Mexican food in the mainland or... Yes, I've been to Mexico as well. That's oh, yeah. more Baja. Okay. And I, cool. I would love to go to Mexico City or Oaxaca or you yeah. know those other places. Yeah. My favorite Mexican food is actually pozole. Oh yeah, that's great. And um, I hung out with Mexican friends, um, and every week weekend she would invite me to her house. They lived in Kaneohe. Her and her husband are Mexican, like actually from Mexico. Wow. And I think they're older than me, and he joined the Marines to become a U.S. citizen. And uh, she just recently became a U.S. citizen, maybe a couple years ago. But wow. then, unfortunately, he retired, and they moved to uh, Tucson, Arizona. So wow. I don't get to eat her awesome food anymore. Um, the reason she moved there was she wanted to become, be closer to the border. Her, she's from Sonora, mm. and her mother and her family still lives there. So that way, they can go visit her mom and stuff. So. Don't get good Mexican food no more from my friend. <laughs> the cooking was awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's the best. Truly the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pozole is great. Yeah. But yeah, these are really good street tacos. You can taste the barbecue. A little hint of like that kind of flavor compared to the other meat. Gotcha. I'm gonna save the rest of this burrito for my son. You know, nothing but oh. the best for him. For him, leftover left burrito. <laughs> left burrito. Uh, it shows nothing shows you care more than a leftover burrito. That's like burrito. my uh, son. Here you go. <laughs> leftover. Here's the, the leftovers. leftovers from my vlog, <laughs> which he doesn't ever eat anyway. He's so picky. Really? What does he like to eat? He does love tacos, though. He does. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's all the Mexican food I ate while I was pregnant from my friend oh, that yeah. cooked for me. But loves any kind of Mexican food, so he'll enjoy that. Um, but as far as local food, it's not. It has different taste buds. I'm not really into plate lunches or anything. Really? Like what, is he like, mean, what do you like to eat? He just eats like really boring food, like sandwiches and um, McDonald's. Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. But I, we don't go there very often because I don't yeah. like McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, mostly, if anything, different tacos. And the authentic way, not Taco Bell. He can eat that like nothing. Really? Yeah. And he even wow. likes it with the shredded cabbage in there. Yeah, yeah. And, oh. And then, like, the onions and cilantro. Yeah, he'll eat it. All right, so I've got this quesadilla here. This has got some sour cream. This is a carnitas, which is pork. Sour cream, cheese. Maybe some beans in there, it looks like. I don't know. Looks like some beans. Yeah, a little good. cilantro. How is it? Good stuff. Oh, yum. Yeah, yeah. Yum, yum. You want to try a wedge? Um, I don't know if I want that big of a piece. I have to eat all this uh, stuff. All right. But maybe, like, if you tear a little piece off sure. of it. Sure. I don't want to waste your food. Um, no waste. Yeah, thank there you. you. Sure. So I guess the difference between this is that's the flour tortilla, right? Mm -hmm. And this one, the lolita, is corn. And then it comes on a bigger, bigger tortilla also. Mm. That's so, a good grill mark, um, like, not grill mark, gr grill flavor. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I love mm. carnitas. Yeah. So I think this, if I remember right, was $12, I think. Mm. 12 or 10 I don't know, I'll pull up. That's really good. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to try this. Mm. How is it? Good. 
just to compare the difference, it's just crunchy. Yeah, I noticed but this it's is the uh, same thing yeah. as the quesadilla. Yeah, right, and corn tortilla, that's it. Well, it's really good, I really like that. Yeah, I like the crunch. Did you put salsa in this or a or I put a, a little or bit on top. Okay. This red stuff, so it's that's not, good. Too, not too hot, right? Yeah, that's perfect. The um, meat I picked was carnitas, which is pork. Mm. So you can pick whatever meat you want. And oh yeah, for vegetarians or vegans, they have jackfruit, which I was thinking about getting, but I, I didn't want to buy too many things. <laughs> but yeah, they use jackfruit. Um, and I guess I've seen it before where jackfruit shreds almost like pork, but I guess it has no taste or whatever flavors you put in it, it kind of just soaks up that flavor. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a neat way of thinking how to make tacos for vegetarians. Yeah, vegetarians and vegans. So what do you think? All right. Um, what do you think's next on the on the horizon for your channel? Mm -hmm. I really don't know. <laughs> I'd like to travel more, which I will be doing. I don't know. You know, I'm a weird person. Like sometimes, if it gets boring after a while, I might just completely stop. Just quit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. But for now, I mean, it's okay. I enjoy doing it. So as long as I enjoy doing it. And I like interacting with the people that comment, yeah. the viewers, thank sure. you. But, I don't know, I, I'd like to enjoy doing anything, whether it's this or I used to play music. And, like, for an example, not to get off subject, but that was something that I enjoyed a lot. And then when I started playing in a band that actually played every week, it became work. Yep. And I didn't enjoy it, and I just stopped. I don't really play music anymore. I can pick up a guitar and play. I, I still remember, but I look at it and I just don't even want to. I mean, it's not bad, you know? Like, So hopefully this doesn't become that. Yeah. But I, I do enjoy doing it and meeting new people and stuff. But I don't know. I think this is different, though. You can do it on your own time. Yep. And you're not forced to do it all the time or have a certain schedule like that. The example I gave, because that we had to be there every weekend at a certain time and do this and practice and all this other extra stuff. Yeah, it um, turned in a hobby like into a job. Job can kind of suck the joy out of mm -hmm. you know joy out of it. Yeah. How about you? Um, For your channel. I don't know. You know, I um, I started it a really. I mean, I started. I had a YouTube channel back in. 2006 was when I very first started, but at that time, I really never thought of it as having an audience. Or I, um, I mean, if you like to think back that far, it's like uh, at that time, internet wasn't really um, so. Like at that time, I had gotten a job working in Japan, and then oh, yeah, and then they didn't, you know, the like I wanted. I had a camera, a video camera, but I couldn't send videos back to friends and family okay and so but youtube it just came on to the picture but i didn't and so i could upload it to youtube and then send friends and family a link mm -hmm. and that's how i really got started i guess and then so i don't know i enjoy it it's just a complete um creative outlet but um you know uh i've kind of what you were talking about with your guitar example this happened to me with the video because i used to just do it for fun mm -hmm. and now i'm doing it for work and uh it does you know like i mean i still like doing this a lot um so i still like doing this a lot it's fun and i just i don't know i just keep doing it i'm similar i just i uh will just keep doing it until it's not fun or till right. uh um i don't know so know. something tells you to stop yeah uh, like outside forces perhaps. right outside forces <laughs> right um, so yeah I'm, I'm done are you done i think i'm done I, I really enjoyed the food. How about you? I did. I did too. I loved it. And uh, one other thing is the owner told me on Tuesdays, they have uh, Taco Tuesdays. All tacos are half off. Oh. So if you're looking to save some money, yeah. head on down there on Tuesday. Get your taco on. I like, I don't know what they're using. Um, they're in that little trailer thing, right? Yeah. Trailer on Queen. But that flat top grill taste. I don't know. I mean, do you taste that? I taste some mm -hmm. kind of seasoning but it's like from a flat top grill or something especially on that quesadilla i don't know that is I... so different from any other mexican place here anyway on this island 
So you have those taste buds. That's why oh. you are the expert in <laughs> food reviews. But it gives it so much good flavor, and the street tacos were wonderful as well. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Thanks for suggesting it. Hey, and thanks for having me. Yeah. All right. So if you're interested in like surfing and adventure, is that's mainly what you do, right? And a mainly little bit what of food. I do. Yeah, a little bit of food, um, but I'm terrible at it. Subscribe <laughs> to Spot's uh, YouTube channel. I'll put the description in the box below. That description box that you got to pull down. And um, thanks for having me. Hey, thank you. All right. <laughs>